So I lost my drone yesterday, which was less than ideal, but uh, I think it was kind of a blessing in, in disguise. I've, I've been flying for about two, three weeks now, and uh, it wasn't that expensive, so the risk of monetary loss wasn't that big. But I kind of got attached to it, and uh, it was fascinating having a camera in the air. I thought I'd really be bummed out, and if I lost it, uh, right now the drone is hanging somewhere in these trees um, about and the tree, as you can see behind me there's a huge pond or small lake uh, which I'm not willing to go into uh, there's no boat or anything so the, the drone is hanging for those branches that extend about four or five meters above the water uh, I brought a couple of broomsticks all our telescoping broomsticks with the with the idea that I'll connect a coat, uh, the hanger for the hook from a coat hanger at the end and try to snag it and somehow save it from falling into the water. But I'm giving up on that plan. <laughs> uh, that seems it's a, it seems unlikely that that will work out. Uh, but I, I, I'm calling it a blessing in, the, in disguise because it's. I think I lost track. I, I forgot how serene nature is. That sounds like a cliche. But uh, it's really peaceful over here. It's peaceful, it's nice, there's birds. There's lots of tiny birds. Some are pooping on me from the tree. But uh, well, that's okay. So, and I, I thought it would be nice to document that, just to document this epiphany that I have experienced. So I was trying to, I was flying above this lake here, if you are, there's a video of it, yesterday and the drone, they, I was not supposed to fly it above water, but the scene looked really nice and I thought I'd rescue it at the last minute, which wasn't the case. So it was diving actually into the water, it was landing by force. And the tree saved it, or not? <laughs> this tree is over here. So today was my second day coming to look for it. I actually spotted it with the from across the pond on the other side. I spotted it with my binoculars. I tried to take a photo. It was in, close to impossible because today it's quite dark. Right now it's uh, it's 1 p.m. and uh, it's, considering I lost it yesterday at around half past two, it was much brighter than today. Uh, today it's quite dark and uh, I could see it but there's not much more I can do about it. My wife suggests waiting for the lake to freeze over, which is likely to happen maybe in, hopefully in later this month. Then we could come and try and shake it and let it fall on the ice, then find a way of dragging it to safety if that works out <laughs> so anyway yeah that's all Why? <laughs>